So I'm really happy with the way things have turned out. Yeah. Oh, and good. Thank you, thank you for all the work you've done. I think they're, uh, the CCQ is going to love it. Yeah, well, you know, I mean, anxiety is such a, uh, seems like it's getting more and more prevalent. Uh, oh, isn't but, it? It just yeah. is. But I think we've done some good work, and uh, I think it'll be fine. Okay. Okay, so uh, how's it going? Oh, it's 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 going fine. Yeah, I'm, uh, the 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 business is good. Business is booming. Good. good. <laughs> Are you doing all right? You're doing oh yeah, I'm doing fine. Yeah, and uh, and your employees, they're all good. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I have I have two now. There's um, uh, Chris and uh, Leon are both uh, really really strong therapists, and uh, yeah, I, I I I do you know that? Do you know? Well, I don't, but <clears throat> oh, okay. But what I wanted to talk to you about was Leon, because uh, I heard from someone who used to work with him at the Alno Center that um, he was seeing someone that was a client. Well, actually, uh, he wasn't seeing her while she was a client. It was a few years after the fact. But regardless, he started seeing this woman wow. who used to be a client. And apparently, his colleagues, they just made his life miserable. I mean, they were very disapproving. And uh, he got to the point where he was so uncomfortable, he just quit. Oh, geez. Wow. Wow. Okay. Wow. Some people just don't like those kind of things going on. Anyway, what I wanted to ask you was, wondered if he's still seeing her. Uh, her name was Angela. Angela. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah, I don't know. I'm not, uh, <laughs> I'm not sure. I, I don't, I, he doesn't really share his personal, uh, life. Um, wow. Uh, yeah, well, you know what? If, if I hear anything, I'll let you know. <laughs> that would be good. I mean, you know, it was just, uh, just so interesting. I was just so curious when this guy started talking about Leon and, Anyway, listen to this. Have you heard of Frida Shepard? Uh, she's a therapist out of the wellness clinic or something. Yeah. In Toronto. Hello. Hail Satan. Uh, yeah, hail. Uh, Leon? Yes, uh, Candace. I can do all the reading I want on, on, on the internet and on your website, on the website of Facebook, but I really want to talk to someone about this and, uh, you know, face to face, it just felt good and I know busy schedule. So thank you again, uh, for meeting on here. I'm happy to help. If you have any questions that I can help you with, that's great. Um, I am interested in your, uh, organization, uh, religion. Um, I just find myself kind of in a crossroads right now. Um, a bit conflicted, uh, feeling unfulfilled, I guess, spiritually. I come from a, a Roman Catholic background. Uh, I'm not talking too, too much. I don't know. Uh, yeah, that's where I, I am. I guess also what I've been kind of conflicted with is, is not having an open mind. Uh, and to actually talking to, uh, I work in psychology, talking to a client who is actually involved uh, with with Satan, um, Satanism. Mm -hmm. is, is that the correct term? Or is the, the, the Church of, uh, sorry. I don't know. This is the Satanic Temple. Um, there this, is a Church of Satan and we have different principles. I, I guess a lot of the fear that you have, the apprehension that you have comes from, the mere fact of like walking out in public saying I'm a Satanist, right? It, it, because it's so taboo. But but when you actually read the tenets, there's we we don't endorse uh, sacrifices and and we don't worship the devil. Yeah. It's it's um, more of a um, a personal will, you know, a, a strength in our own individuality and. 
consciousness. Yes, yes. And, I, you know, that kind of brings me back to my open-mindedness and making it a, a, a choice almost to be good rather than feeling guilted <laughs> and not feeling like it's my choice to be good or to go, yeah. do good Hail things. Hail. Yeah. Hail. Um, okay, okay, okay. This is... Nope, not. What the fuck is this thing? Oh God, this is not gonna go well. This is gonna go great. This is gonna go great because everything goes great. Okay. God. God. Oh shit. Hi. 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 Bertram. Yes, that hi. is me. That is not someone else. You are meeting the right person today. Oh hi. Well, I'm Siobhan, So. Nice to meet you. Uh, you chair. have a lovely looking wall of your home. Oh, oh thank, you. <laughs> thank you. Well, it's a, uh, you know, red is the uh, good color. Um, it, it, it's, a, it's a lovely color. It, it makes, uh, I, I want to see your face pop, but I have no idea how those things work. You look beautiful is what I'm trying to thank say you. in so many words. <laughs> well, you look beautiful as well, or handsome in, in the way that you would compliment a man. Uh, look more. It's a good, it's a great, it's a beautiful uh, color of um, your shirt. Thank you, I appreciate it. Uh, so uh, hey, hey, a date. <laughs> wow. a date. Yeah. yeah, good, good, uh, good on us. We're uh, we're we're having a date over the phone. We're making the best of it. Yeah, yeah. It's a, have you done this before? This kind of thing with the. No, no, I, I, I've never, oh. I've never done this uh, sort of thing over over a video call. But but I'm I, I'm super excited and definitely not even uh, a little bit nervous to try. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, in fact, I haven't I uh, I haven't been on a date in a in a, in a while. So um, I mean, computers were around when when I last had a date. But uh, okay, good. <laughs> I like your little uh, candle uh, made. They're a gift from an ex. I. Oh. Oh, I know that I am not yeah. supposed to be talking about exes uh, on dates. I know that that's uh, that's a, a faux pas, if you will, but uh, it, it, it's fine. Um, she she thought I was OCD and a sociopath, so she's not. Uh, oh wow! Phew, oh, that feels like a weird thing to admit. She she's not on my uh, my mind. If if it, if it clears your head at all, uh, I am not OCD or very least not diagnosed OCD or a sociopath. Although I feel like sociopaths are often hiding in plain sight. You're the therapist. I, I know nothing about that. We, we actually, we met while I was uh, in university. I, I, was, uh, I, I was doing my master's over at the University of Toronto and um, I was TAing an advanced computer science class uh, and, and I met her and um, uh, I, I was her TA. So, so there are, there are um, some uh, barriers there but you know, we went through it with the proper channels and we spoke to um the, the, the chair of the department and i really don't need to be uh, justifying this is all a, a lot of information that oh. is too much talking for me i feel like that was a, a mini monologue um no. i i have been staring since the beginning of this call at those earrings they're absolutely stunning please please oh. tell me where you got them they're beautiful oh these they're ah <laughs> <laughs> um well this is this is kind of funny um uh these these are also these are from an ex these are from my ex um, okay uh, all right are you still in uh contact with uh oh, your ex what, what's uh no no what's he, that like um uh he was a he was a, a client actually he um I mean, not not when we were dating. We uh, we uh, we waited until until after. Um, um, he was a uh, he uh, uh, he was uh, he was um, uh, he was an addict, and uh, um, they're tough to yeah. be in relationships with. Um, uh, he was he was also he was a musician. I see that you have a, a guitar there. So um, I do. Yes. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't uh, heard from him in a long time. I don't even know where he is. I don't even know if he's alive. Um, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, sorry to hear that. Um, I just, uh, I, if, if, if it helps, uh, I, I am, I am 
not a musician uh, or an addict. Um, this is actually uh, not even uh, alcohol. It is apple juice. I, I, I don't drink. Uh, oh, so. I got this. I brought this is this is vermouth. That's um, I thought I should bring alcohol. Good afternoon. How are you guys doing? Good to Pretty see good. you. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh. Uh, before I forget, Chris, your timesheets. Wow, amazing, brilliant, perfect. Yeah. So Leon is a master. <laughs> I knew it. I knew I was submitting a good one. Yeah. Yeah. No. Just... Leon carved out so much time for me this week, and I thank you. I thank you for your patience, Siobhan. I knew I could do it. I knew I could do it. Oh, wow. That's, that's fantastic. So you guys got together, and that's great. That's brilliant. We yeah. got together. Yep. It was a great time. Great time. Buddy. Figured it out. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Spare me. Shall I go on strike? Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, we were talking about yeah, uh, your bowlers when we were kids. Wow, like good bowlers when we were kids. Oh my goodness, God, it's it's amazing the things that that you have in common, eh? Just like, I mean, it'd be, you know, I'd be curious to see sort of just a a Venn diagram. Of, of the three of us and, and see how much of an overlap. I bet you, I bet you could pick quite a bit. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Leon, I, I owe you uh, such a big apology. I, um, I've been, I, I stopped doing this bit. It, it just, it wasn't working and I feel like I was just forcing, forcing that on you. So, so I, I really do apologize for that. I'm not doing it anymore. It was a, it was a stupid idea. It was an experiment that I will say it, it's time for that experiment to end. So, so once again, I'm, I'm so sorry. And, and thank don't, you. Don't, don't, don't apologize. Yeah. You know, I tried it. I gave you, it a shot. Yeah. Yeah. I gave it a shot. Uh, it's not good. Uh, you know, it's not good uh, for me. At least I just sat there and I was like, why did I do that? So <laughs> yeah, I'm with you. But I tried it two days in a row. Well, I'm wow. with you too. It just makes me really, really, really dizzy. <laughs> oh God, I appreciate you both so much. For that is so <laughs> oh well, don't worry about that anymore. How are you doing? You oh, know, I... about ourselves and meeting. How are how are you doing where you're at? And, yeah, how are things? They're pretty good. Uh, they're pretty good. Yeah, they're um um. Actually, I'm going to be um. I'm going to be coming into town in in the next couple of weeks. I have to I have to uh, actually have a an in person um meeting with someone. Oh, uh, so it went well. Yes, yes. Uh, it's um. Do you know any restaurants? Do you have any restaurants that you would? Uh, would recommend like and not nothing too uh vibrant um like oh, chill or yeah, yeah. like just... infernos infernos is infernos is pretty chill um it's in saint boniface okay. it's the french quarter of winnipeg um uh, yeah it's actually really good went yeah. there uh, on my first date actually with angela so highly recommend it and it worked out well so yeah. Okay. Well, then I will definitely, I will, I will definitely uh, suggest Inferno's. <laughs> Have the lobster pot stickers. Ooh, pot stickers. Okay. Um, you know, I've never really been into lobster um, because oh. it's giant bugs. But uh, you know what? I'm, I'm all for. Trying some adventure. Why not, huh? Look at everybody trying something new. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, I, I don't want to take up too much time with talking about me. Uh, so um, let's, uh, let's get down to the agenda. Uh, first up is...